All right, hello. We're going to do another first five today. Hopefully it will go pretty well because I'm actually going to mess with two characters that you haven't seen me pick. Well, you know, that's generally the goal anyways. But there are two characters I, I really haven't picked <laughs> before. And a friend of mine named Jared has recommended a team to me. So I'm going to try it out almost how he has it done. I'm going to do a little uh, changes here and there, but... Okay, I lost 98. So, that's not bad. This is what I was running before. This is like my try-hard team. But, for the sake of variety and, you know, tier list making, I will try out... Okay, so Quake was one of them. And she's 13, unfortunately. So, the other person who I'm trying out is 14, though. Where is he? There you are. Avalanche. So, I'm trying to think. He had this. I don't want Widow's Way. You know, it seemed so nice until they came up with that Hawkeye one. But, uh... Scarlet Witch and Quicksilver will probably have ISOs that the agent can pick up as well. And I guarantee you... Whatever Quicksilver has is gonna be absurd. He's not gonna get something like stupid or anything. Uh, maybe he'll, like, apply pressure points. If he applied pressure points on everything, that would actually be less than whatever I would have expected him to get. I, I really expect something absurd. Uh... I suppose this will probably be alright. Just in case, I'm gonna try that. Cause I'm not as worried about unarmed because I have uh her. So I have them both immune to stun. And bruiser shouldn't be an issue because he can generalize. So Let's do this. That scroll also helps a lot against beast teams because uh, the more debuffs, you know, the stat debuffs you get, the more things it applies. So that'll actually hinder their team more than it'll help. And speak of the devil, there they are. You know, not that we didn't expect to see them. There's only about two teams you're actually going to see today. Oh! Uh, this Terran's lost, though. Alright. Dizzy and slowed. So dizzy gives me generalized, slowed, and manipulated. So I'll, I'll do that. She's disoriented, so I don't want to risk it. So Beast can't swim anymore. Okay. Sky is falling. Is 
She was exhausted anyway, so I exhausted. Though I'm charmed, okay. Oh, okay. Well, guess I can't do that. <laughs> uh, he can't move. Good. It's my alarm that it's two o'clock. All right. So so far, it looks decent. Nothing too crazy is happening. Except I'm punching my teammate. That that's just so annoying. You have no idea how much that makes me mad. <laughs> like, I would like to swing at other people. This apparently has no cooldown. So I'm just gonna do it again. Just to mainly wipe out the uh, light fantastic. Uh, he might not get a turn again. I think my agent's done. Yeah. Okay, well you can't dodge this. Too afraid of him hitting other people. You recharged, I punched you in the face. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Oh yeah, I'm um... As for atomic lockboxes, I'm six comics in. With the bonus bar about there. So I probably will get it next time. But we'll see. But yeah, the scroll that I have on my agent also is for those Quicksilver teams. Because if I use that, they can't just light Fantastic and remove the... Uh, You know, remove the debuff. Because I don't want them to remove Immobilized from Quicksilver. Um... I think... I will be preemptively countered. That's a smart move for the first turn. Alright, so... Make sure they don't get the combat reflexes. And of course I shoot my teammate. Alright, so let's see how many debuffs I have. I just have slow, okay. So I'm gonna use this instead. Not that. This. I would like to swing at the enemy team. Just one. Alright, but now that they're they're generalized, so I can now go for this, because apparently I can't do anything else because I'm always just gonna swing at myself. That's cool, huh? We don't really need extra turns anymore. Alright, so is he disoriented? No. Huh. 
Oh no, I dodged and I'm interrupted. Okay. Because that's how all the other ones work too. Except it's not. Alrighty. Let's play them. No, I'm gonna dodge you. Remember when they were like, we don't want people taking a lot of turns. And then they released Enchantress. Y'all remember that? I would like to move. Like, one time. Like, I can't... can't do anything right now. That didn't do anything. So, so what am I supposed to do to hit them at this point? I think this is a loss. I mean, if you can't move, you obviously can't win. I don't think he's landed a single, single target attack the entire time I've been playing. Oh my god, he hit one. Now he's been frack attacked. Okay, so now I have a bunch of debuffs, so I'm gonna use this. Storm. I think I'm pretty much screwed, though. Pretty sure the uh, improbability field loaded me up with too many debuffs to win. Yeah. Now everyone's just gonna be doubted to death. myself can't do anything so yeah, that's pretty much it this round has been lost due to way too much disabling power of enchanters I mean the, the whole thing with the, these guys is just that they, they're just not gonna let you play I mean, look at that nothing you can do you can't remove that and I mean I could run a satellite support but then again you know you kill a gear slot for something that's only specifically for them. And I guess that's fine, because most of this is only specifically for one thing. But... Uh, you know, do I lose my ability to cleanse? Do I lose my mandible? I mean, what do I take out? I guess I'll... This exploits opportunity. I don't know, it's like such a hard choice. Do I take... You know what? This isn't as important for this team, so we're going to try satellite support here. Just so we can hit the enemy team. Every once in a while. And I'm never going to use the active, because if it's not a quick action, then it's kind of a waste of your turn. Oh, good. Quicksilver Cylon. None of us are magic. Alright. You remember, this costume has combo breaker. He just ate four hits in a row. Oh, look. It, it does have combo breaker, right? I mean, I'm not just imagining things. Like, it, it's there. And look at this. You know what? I'm not even going to play that out. Because they have Mystic Shroud, and the only person who could do anything about it has died due to not procking Combo Breaker a hundred times in a row. Like, I don't get it. Like, how do I get hit five, four or five follow-ups in a row in one attack and not get anything? 
Like, the only reason why I have this suit is to stop things like that. Look at that. Not stopping it, though. Oh, now we're going to stop one. But he's already dead. He's done. That's it. Oh, wow. It's, he's not dead. Well, then. Uh, what meaningful thing can I do at this point? Because I've already been screwed. Demise. That's not bad. Okay, so... We definitely want to hit with that. And Agent's dead. So I can't prevent them from removing the buff unless I kill her. That's glitchy. She shouldn't be able to attack, because, yeah. Good. So they're, they're locked out from attacking for a good minute. Finally. But I would really like my agent's combo breaker to not, like, fail 100% of the time. Like, he got, like, one out of two fights. It's insane. I think that's somebody from Legendary Avengers. See? At least we got three teams. We got quick... Clock once. There we go. See, that's why I have the costume. You know, I should have just punched him first. Or she's just gonna. He's just gonna hit me and give me a turn. Finish him off here. Oh, mandible. Nice. Just want to hit everybody and also knock him out at the same time. Wow, Quick Lord doesn't do well against this at all. Jeez. It's just Enchantress is still a bit of a pain. Because I can't swing. I hate when I accidentally clicked that. Oh my goodness! No, no, stop. Skip. We got it. PvP. Uh, played this a couple times. 156 times, apparently, this season, so I don't need to... I have extra instructions. I'm just clicking all the wrong things. Am I retarded? Okay, so we want to... Oh, we'll just use a five. Because I want to win five. I don't want to just lose to some BS. Let's see what I get on the roulette. Okay. Uh, 
so we're gonna do this. This says it applies opportunist, but does it really? Okay, he got staggered, okay. She got staggered. That's all? It's not guaranteed to apply it staggered, that's weird. Alright, so... I'm just gonna use this. I don't really feel comfortable swinging at them until... Oh! There we go. Of course, you would do that. Oh, yeah, I'm fine, though, because that doesn't affect me right now. So... Huh. Attacks leave a lot to be desired. But I'm just gonna try to kill him. Well, you can't block that, so screw you. Okay, well, she can't be immobilized. Because she needs more passives. This only leaves one thing for Null to do, and he's gonna probably just ground pound. Which means I have to kill him immediately. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, come on! Are you kidding me? Oh, come on! Like, we literally lose a whole turn. Because it just wants to stun us. Now we're all dead. Oh my goodness. Are you serious? That's it. Don't take away my whole turn! 20% proc rate, my ass. There's no way that's 20%. That was 100. <sighs> wow. If they made an E-ISO where that stuff didn't affect you, I would use that every day. That was so corny. There was literally nothing I could do. Like, the only thing I can do is run Age of Ultron Hulk, and that's, like, literally your only option to prevent that. I think it prevents Cower. I know it prevents Combo Breaker from stopping you. I'd have to double check. But I'm a little afraid to run him, too, so it's like, what do I do? Just a little afraid. I mean, he's not bad. No one should be picking this team anymore. This team is not good. I don't think anybody's been afraid of Red Hulk for a long time now. This, this, these five matches to get my five wins have been an absolute mess. I don't think I've had this hard of a time in a while, so I don't... 
I don't know. Oh boy. Here we go, okay. So, this isn't gonna do anything to them. You know what? I did that in the wrong order. I should have frack attacked and then did that. Uh, I messed up. Oh, now that I'm playing against a lame team, he wants to do it every time. Look at this. But I have like, you know, quick lock and it's like, nah. Nah, we ain't ever gonna do it. Screw you. And that's where we end for today. You know, I believe... Uh, what, what's today? Monday. From what I hear, they don't really release new content on Mondays. So, I would say to expect Mockingbird and uh, the Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch outfits around uh, say Wednesday, Tuesday. Because it seems like they have a lot of it done from how they're talking and releasing a whole bunch of stuff. So, I'm afraid, and I'm mad that I got another duplicate, but I don't think Scarlet Witch is going to get anything that's going to scare people to death. It's just Quicksilver I'm worried about, because he's already one of the best characters in the game. Is about to get another costume. You know what he might? You know, I think I know what he's gonna get. Because uh, spoiler alert, he covered somebody up in the movie. He may get something where he'll like cover low health teammates, or all the Age of Ultron teammates will cover each other if they're low health or something like that. That would be kind of neat, and it would fit with you know something that happened in the movie. That would be cool. And, uh, what would Scarlet Witch get? Because what happened really with her? I don't know. We'll have to see, because it's all speculation until they release it. Which I imagine will be soon, so... We will find out shortly. And I ran for 30 minutes because of all the losses, but I hope you guys got some enjoyment out of watching me, get, you know, beat up all day. I, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what to say about these two. I mean, like, they don't feel... It's so hard to judge characters. When Enchantress is in the meta in 50% of your matches. It's so hard. Because no matter what, she can shut you down. It doesn't matter if you're her counter class. Like, we could be three Scrappers against three Infiltrator, Enchantress, Beast, Agent. And we could still lose from being disabled purely. And it's so ridiculous. Like... I'd actually propose, I don't know, I'm running on now, but I'd propose the change to Beast to where he keeps his passive, but it's more limited as to what it prevents the removal of. Like, pretty much, I limit it to the Paragon, the Opportunity, and... Well, not all the Paragon buffs. Like, mainly, like... All of them but stun, and then opportunity, and damage over time effects, like attrition. And then that's it. Like, that's all he can guarantee stays on you. And then, so if you cleanse your team, if you have stuns, they're gone. 
if you have delirium because it's so outrageously busted and can cripple your team way too much then no like that he can't be allowed to keep that on you but like you can still be weakened down to the point where you don't do damage but you're not weakened down to the point where you can't do damage, can't take turns, can't take turns even though you have Unstunnable on and swing at your teammates. Like, all of that is just really stupid. And the reason why I propose that change isn't just because Beast makes me angry. It's because people who get paired with Beast and become top tier make me angry. Like, you know, you look at Enchantress, and she gets Beast on her team, and Beast really isn't doing anything. He's just applying some debuffs that may stand. Or may even apply to his own team. He doesn't care which way it goes because he's still got Enchantress on his team. And she's going to dot you to pieces, which, you know, I'm okay with that. I'll just deal. But I don't want to deal with being fully disabled and helpless. I want to be able to cleanse myself. I don't want to lose turns all the time. You know, I don't want to swing at my teammate all the time and I don't want to be left absolutely helpless because she might have got the first turn. You know, she gets the first turn, you're toast. That's that's just it. And there's like almost no amount of damage you can do to her to kill her on the first round if the armory is set up right. Because they always set up defensively. But that's a whole different thing. That was my suggestion for Quicksilver, you know, I'd like suggestions for everybody. I might make another video just about that, but not right now. This is this is going to be the end, so I will upload and see you guys later. Hopefully I'll be doing more this week than I did last week. Not lazy.